In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the best new defense in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and if this is your first time watching any of my content, I just want to thank you for taking the time to stop by today, and I hope today's video provides something helpful that you can use in your um, gaming experience in Madden 18. Today's video is all about how can we get better on defense, and one of the things that has given me the most trouble lately I thought it would share with you guys is this idea of a block shed defense. So for me, um, I like to use the bunch wide. We all know that you can get that offense in the premium membership and this block shed defense. I'm going to be talking a lot about it in the premium membership in the weeks to come, but basically I'll just come out in a standard, standard play, but from four, three, you can do it from any of these four threes. You can do it from nickel normal, the best, in my opinion, is to do it from dime. But if you want to do it from uh, more of a run-style defense, then I would recommend the 4-3 wide 9. And what you want to do is you want to put your best pass rushers in. I mean, these guys are, I mean, whatever, whoever is your best pass rusher. So for me, what I do is I take Anthony Barr, and I'm, I move him to the middle linebacker here, put Kendricks here, and then this guy, I just, you know, put, put whoever um, – but then I, what I do is I take um, uh, Everson Griffin and I put him at defensive tackle. So I have Robison on the outside, and then I got Everson Griffin on the inside. So basically, I actually normally stack them. So I have my best pass rushers on the right side of the line because the quarterback is more than likely going to um, going to use that side. And then these corners here, what I like to do is take Xavier Rhodes or – I'm sorry, Terrence Newman, and put him back here in the secondary. And then I run a – I come out and cover four, but normally I'm going to run cover two. So we come to the line of scrimmage, and I'm going to audible nine times out of ten to Tampa two. And then what I do is I base a line, and then I show blitz so that it brings the safeties into the box, and then I spread the line, line out wide so you see these really wide blitz angles. Now this is only if they're going to pass the ball. Okay, what you'll see is at the snap of the ball, they get really, really good angles upfield, and normally you'll get a block shed. And I'm telling you, in the middle of a game, you will get a block shed in under three seconds. I mean, it's incredible what you can do with this. And you can experiment around with the blitz angles a little bit if you want, but by and large, if you do it like this, you're going to get some really, really good blocking uh, and really, or excuse me, really, really good blo uh, block shedding, uh, and it's really going to help you guys a lot. Um, another thing you can do is crashes and stunts. So like if you crash your line to the right, then, then that's going to you know guarantee you're going to get some pretty good pressure from the right side and vice versa to the left. So whatever you want to do, um, sometimes what you can do with this is also if you if you just want to send, you know, maybe two of them, you could drop people into coverage here. So I could I could potentially drop him here and then man him up. And then, you know, now that takes away the whole left side of the of the play. And you still are going to get pretty good pressure from the block sheds on the right side. So, anyways, guys, if you have a stud defensive line and you want to test this out, I recommend this. This is the 4-3 wide 9. Um, another defense, but in my opinion, the best defense to actually do it from. The only reason you would use 4-3 wide, wide 9 is because of the the um, the the pass, pass defense. But if you can get to this position here where you're in a dime, you can really do some things. So what you would do in this situation is you'd actually drop down Anthony Barr, and then you could really do some things, do some damage here. Uh, just user Eric Kendricks, and then you would come out in the cover three buzz. Um, if I can find it here, the three double buzz. And that that's like the best coverage in the game. So I'll show you uh, real quick how to set that up, and then uh, we'll turn you loose. But guys, this, this and more will be in the premium membership. We're going to talk about this a lot. But basically what you want to do with this is you want to base a line. You want to show blitz so that you're safe. everybody walks more to the line of scrimmage. Crash your line down and then spread your line. Once you do that, uh, your line will shift out and you're going to get some insane block sheds. I mean, the dime pass rush is just incredible. As you can see right there, if you want to stop a passing attack, 
A dime normal is one of the best defenses in the game to do that. So if you have any questions, please let me know if you're new to the channel. Thank you for watching all the way through. I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button. What that basically means is you're going to join the team and you're going to look for more tips and, vi and videos of mine as they come out. And in my opinion, that's just only going to help you. It doesn't cost you any money at all. And it's just going to give you some, some material and content that you can use to 